The communists are growing and the right wing is scared. The Revolutionary Communist Party has arrived. Hey everyone, my name is Juliana from the Revolutionary Communist Party and we've been making some strides recently, so much so that we've been noticed by Alex Jones from InfoWars. We got a shout out from his guest star. I don't even know who this person is. He's Canadian, but they're talking about the Revolutionary Communist Party and why young people in Canada are gravitating towards communism. So let's take a look. We are building this party to overthrow Canadian imperialism. Communists are planting our flag on the soil of this country. Communism is back. We're the revolutionary communists, and we are building the revolutionary communist party. Marxism provides a profound understanding of the world. It's a guide to revolutionary action. CMP is afraid of revolution. Let's give them something to really, really be afraid of. If you would like to fight for liberation, freedom, and communism, help us found the Revolutionary Communist Party of Canada. It's a global movement calling for armed violent revolution. And our friend is correct. It is a global movement. We do, in fact, have comrades in America organized with the Revolutionary Communists of America. Today, we stand witness to the early stages of a strategic plan unfolding before our very eyes. A calculated maneuver by revolutionary communists to exploit and recruit incoming migrants, students, and union workers to further their Marxist agenda. Hi, I'm Eden. I'm part of the Revolutionary Communist Party here in PEI, and I'm here with Rapinder. Okay, I'm talking to people at Queen's Park today at the uh, rally and picket supporting Keepy workers. These fresh out of university communists loudly proclaim their support for workers and utilize social grievances that resonate with immature youth and migrants who are detached from Canadian social culture. The Revolutionary Communist Party is here to provide for those of you who have the moral fortitude, who have the courage, who have the tenacity and who have the understanding and the intelligence to fight back against this discrepant system, to end the genocide in Gaza, to end world poverty, to bring out the best potential of the entire world working class and the entire world. They target young, impressionable minds and scream for revolutionary change by exploiting hardships. Where are the communists recruiting? They're not going to old old age, you know, old homes, old senior centers or anything like that. They're in universities. Yeah, so I actually want to address this point because this is actually completely true. Like increasing unemployment, workers' rights, social justice issues, and unattainable homeownership that was created by existing governments through bad policies and capitalist greed. We have no interest in the rule of the imperialist, whose greed for profit and power knows no bounds and will stop at nothing. We have all the interest of the rule of the people. Predatory union leaders have aligned themselves with revolutionary communists, who see a golden opportunity in this newly subsidized immigrant workforce where corporations are eagerly hiring immigrants to benefit from government subsidies that are intended to support the integration of newcomers into our workforce, but has inadvertently created fertile ground for these radicals to build an army of comrades seeking to overthrow the Canadian state. Our demands are modest, the complete overthrow of capitalism. We have every right to demand overthrowing capitalism and building communism. Building revolutionary communist parties to overthrow this system once and for all. The radical RCP purposely targets disenfranchised migrants with no attachment to the Canadian culture. Who are they clamoring to? The migrants, the migrant hordes of people that demand stuff and things. I should probably address what he said about the so-called migrant hordes. This is something that the right wing do all the time. They lie. So um, what are your demands from the province? We have three demands from the province. This is the party that unequivocally stands with the Palestinians. Therefore, we will do everything in our power to fight the main enemy at home and overthrow Canadian imperialism. Marxist.com and our fightback activists and allies here in Toronto, Canada would like to extend our solidarity with the brave workers and students of Iran in the midst of this revolutionary movement. Working arm in arm with malignant groups like Antifa and the liberal funded Canadian Anti-Hate Network, the revolutionary communists are strategically exploiting a vulnerable workforce. And they are poised to significantly influence the future of the Canadian government and corporations. 
and while RCP radicals publicly threaten the RCMP. CMP is afraid of revolution. Let's give them something to really, really be afraid of. And advocate for the overthrowing of the existing government. We are building this party to overthrow Canadian imperialism. Communists, both historically and in modern context, have skillfully leveraged Antifa's militant and disruptive capabilities to advance their own agendas. While they profess to oppose the capitalist system, they fail to recognize that this very system, which they seek to dismantle, paradoxically enables their existence and supports them, including the liberals funding organizations like Anti-Hate that disseminate propaganda in their favor. During the convoy protests, uh, your executive director, I believe that's his position, Bernie Faber, uh, posted a tweet uh, with a photo of a vile anti-Semitic flyer Upon further examination, it was proven that this exact same photo was taken in Miami, Florida, uh, weeks before the protests ever began. Somebody had reached out who was in Ottawa who said that they saw that flyer there and they provided the photo. So you have no evidence other than hearsay that that flyer was actually being distributed in Ottawa? Uh, that is correct. You know, we took the report from somebody on the ground. One question these communists have failed to ask themselves is why the very system they intend to overthrow would be aiding their cause. The answer is that they are merely useful pawns in a larger agenda destined to be discarded once they've served their purpose. Real revolutionaries are condemned by the state. That's why the Liberal government has zeroed in on the Diagalon community, unloading a barrage of attacks from their mainstream media cronies, federal Gestapo, spy agencies, and even the Canadian judicial system. If you would like to be a part of this movement, you can go to one of the events this summer during the Road Rage Terror Tour. You can get your tickets only at the Griff Shop.